this is how the E150 2008 has wires coming back underneath the van there. Just Google 2008 E150 trailer wires for the van. So if you check them with this, this one, that one there should be ground. And the first one down there. there, white and brown, white one should be ground. I had these two switched around. So that's what you should be seeing right there. If you see this signal here, if you see minus, that means that's changed around. I got that on voltage. You could also go on there and check if you got resistance too. But, and then this is what it looks like when it's wired correctly. So, Ground, running lights, and blinkers. The green and yellow are blinkers. I had these two switched around and then it was frying the fuse out in the front of the van. 2008 E150, it was frying that fuse out. I think there was a 15 amp in there, but I put a 30 because I didn't have anything else. So now my running lights are on. And blinkers. So if you Google the 2008, right beside the frame under in there, there's wires coming back for the trailer. You just cut that thing off and wire it right to the, right to this four thing. But the white one, and the brown one, if you switch them around, it'll blow fuses and act like something's wrong with your trailer. Make sure this one says ground. If not, just switch them back and forth. There's two. There's a green one and a yellow one under there. But then there's a black one where the brown one goes or a black one with a white stripe under in there. So watch that. So if you put the green one where the green one goes under the van and then the brown one to the black one with the white stripe or whatever is under there figure out which one's hot and cold you can do it with a meter but if you don't have a meter just use put these two put the white one on the black one and see if this running light will come on if not it's not right so just switch them around this one's got to be the ground